High protein diets may be decreasing testosterone levels in men, which can lead to ED and fertility struggles. That in a new report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Folks who knock back protein shakes and devour lean meats are lowering their chances of having kids, warns the new study. Following a high-protein diet may reduce men's testosterone levels, which can lead to erectile dysfunction and low sperm counts, say scientists. The team at University of Worcester say piling on the protein could cost them dearly, decreasing their testosterone levels by more than a third. Researchers said that most people eat around 17% protein, while high-protein dieters eat about 35% protein. Not having enough testosterone has also been linked to chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. In contrast, healthy testosterone levels are very important for strength, muscle building, and athletic performance. Results from 27 studies involving a total of 309 men were compiled by the researchers. Those who followed a high-protein, low-carb diet had much lower levels of testosterone compared to the others. Having more than 35% protein reduced testosterone levels by 37%, which is medically referred to as hypogonadism, the researchers found. Too much protein and not enough carbs also increased cortisol, commonly known as the body's stress hormone, which is released during the so-called fight-or-flight response. High levels of cortisol have been found to suppress the immune system, leaving people vulnerable to viral and bacterial infections like colds, flu, and even the dreaded COVID-19. And something I've never heard before, packing on the protein, can also cause rabbit starvation, where the body turns too much protein into ammonia, which is toxic at high levels. This condition, sometimes called protein poisoning, was first discovered by Roman soldiers who were forced to survive on rabbits during the siege of Villanueva del Campo. Many of them developed severe diarrhea and died. Not exactly a good way to go. Because of the incredible popularity of low-carb diets, scientists say further research is needed. Check out more detail in the link below in the description on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.